downtown Toledo, a 1-1 tie after one period of play. They got a nice shootout going out on the ice right now. Matt Melzak here in the booth, and we were really excited to announce that St. John's would be a part of Winterfest playing uh, against St. Ignatius. What a game that's going to be. A couple of great high school powers playing up against each other. Zach Silka, who is Director of External Affairs from St. John's, joins me right here in the booth. Zach, great to see you, by the you way. You too. Good to see you again. Uh, good to see you. And and let's talk about this. Uh, St. John's getting yeah. an opportunity to play St. Ignatius over at Fifth Third Field. Yeah, we probably could have picked a better opponent, you know, strength of schedule-wise. <laughs> but yeah. at the same time... Let's go right for the top, right? <laughs> exactly. You know, and those are our Jesuit brothers from Cleveland. Uh, it's going to be a great matchup playing them. Obviously, defending co-state champions from, from the game against Northview last year, everybody remembers. So um, you really can't ask for a better matchup for us. It's going to be a great day on New Year's Day, playing under the lights at Fifth Third Field, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for our guys. Well, no question about it. How did it all come together, Zach, uh, getting these two teams together and obviously the discussions that had to get started? Take us through that. Sure. You know, it, it all really dates back to our great partnership we have with the Toledo Walleye. Uh, this is now our second season of, of working with the Toledo Walleye and the Toledo Mud Hens. Now we have both those affiliations now, and uh, just just two great organizations. And uh, we feel very fortunate to be linked up with you guys. And so coming out of that now, you know, getting to be part of Winterfest and, and getting our guys the chance to, like I said, play on New Year's Day, just like the NHL guys are going to be doing. Our guys are going to be playing on, on an outdoor pond right in the middle of a baseball field. How could you ask for a better experience for those guys? And, it, and it's part of the excitement, Zach, that this whole event, uh, as we get even closer now, basically a month out, sure. it, the, the fact that it, the, the excitement, the buildup, and, and just everybody is talking about what is coming here to downtown Toledo. Yeah, it's funny. You know, uh, Ignatius, they let the cat out of the bag a little bit early over the summer. And uh, so our students kind of picked up on that because all those guys, you know, they talk over the summer and a lot of them play in the same league. So the second anybody from Ignatius talked about it, our guys knew about it like two seconds later. And so our guys have been talking about it since the summer. It's, it's going to be huge. Our students are now getting involved. They're de designing special beanies to wear at the game because they said, <laughs> well, T-shirts probably aren't going to work on New Year's night. It's probably going to be a little chilly that night. So we're going to have special beanies that the students are going to wear at the game. Uh, the cool part is that it's free admission, so anybody can come down and experience that, that great atmosphere and really be part of this great community event. I mean, you have to give credit to Walleye for putting this together. It, it, it's 10 days of awesome community building, you know, excitement, and, and that's what we really need. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun down here, as you heard Zach say, St. John, St. Ignatius, playing on New Year's Day downtown at Fifth Third Field for Winterfest. I know Mike Hayes will have uh, oh, the yeah. boys ready to go, and, and, and if you haven't seen the high school hockey over the last decade and how much it has improved sure. in this area, I mean, when you start looking at the state titles, you're talking yes. about Northview having the share last year, which forced an entire rules change, yes. by the way, yes. uh, you know, in, in the high school ranks. But St. Francis has won, St. John's has won, uh, you know, and Northview. I mean, it, it, we're seeing this community in this area become very strong in high school hockey, and, and this is another great showcase for Definitely. Them. You know, you've seen, uh, you know, we broke through, obviously, in 2007. There was finally a state title. So now we're kind of get inching closer to those Cleveland teams that are always had a stranglehold on high school hockey in the state. Now you're seeing, you know, us and St. Francis and, Northview and, and winning state championships and, and really Toledo hockey now at the high school level is on the map. It's just as good as Cleveland hockey or anywhere else in the state and that's really a testament to the great coaches we have in this area. You have some long tenured coaches. You mentioned Mike Hayes over at St. John's um, but you have a lot of great coaches in this league a lot of good tradition. Uh, people forget you know high school hockey in this area has been around for you know several decades now so the programs continue to grow and get better every year and, uh, you know, I think you're going to really see a nice showcase on New Year's Day with us getting to play Ignatius and, and celebrate high school hockey in this area. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, Zach. Uh, thanks so much for being a part of it. Yeah. It's going to be great. St. John's, St. Ignatius, Zach Silka uh, joining us, the Director of External Affairs from St. John's. Stay with us. We have plenty more to come from here at the Huntington Center. We're tied at one. <laughs> 